Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. My guests today are Stephanie and John Ignafo from Plant Spiration, and they're going to be talking about how they regain their health, and they're going to also be making a delicious Plant Spiration black bean burger. Please welcome them to the show. We get a twofer, we get a story and a recipe. Yeah, yes, I'm going to bring it all. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Chef AJ. I'm humbled to be here. And thank you for paving the way for well, people like us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, you know, people like you, you know, it, it's uh, okay. People like you. I'm not really sure what that means, but people, people from Illinois, you know, you know, here's the thing. So I remember um, when I was first in, I, I'm, I'm in my 60s and I started acting in L.A. or trying to be an actress. I got I had some success a little bit on shows like Johnny Carson as a comedian, David Letter and Madeline. But I remember when I started in my acting class and I was like, a no, I hate that, a nobody. I mean, I was somebody, but I mean, I was not known in the entertainment industry. And I remember I got paired up with somebody who was like, to me, a big star. And I was like, oh, my God. You know, and I mean, we're, I'm acting with this person who has his own series on television. I'm like, oh, my God. And, you know, and I remember like making, you know, big deal about it. And he said to me, he goes, you know, everybody's somebody. And it's like, it, ne like he was so humble. And it, like his thing was like, this is his job. But I love that. I mean, of course, I love having Dr. Greger on the show. Everybody knows him. But I love all the millions of people in the plant-based space that may not know you. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, these are the stories that I like because these are the people people can relate to. People that aren't doctors, people that found the plant-based diet and used it to regain their health. These are the stories that I am interested in telling. So anyway, there you go. I think you might like this one. I think <laughs> you might like it. I already know I will. Well, you guys, I can tell you, you look great now. So I can't wait to hear about the before because I think you had a few extra pounds on your beautiful frame. A little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any, whenever you're ready or however you want me to Absolutely, because I know a little bit about your story and I hope you have a before picture because you just look like a, you know, you look like just a beautiful LA lady that I would see on the street right now, even though you're an LA I, I just turned 50, John's 54. And honestly, if it wasn't for this, the plants, I don't think I'd be here. So yeah. I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful to be able to be here to share it and inspire more people. I, I want to say, you know, I'm not special. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And John, go ahead. You. Yeah, I will this. share. Oh, screen. this is my lovely assistant. John he helps <laughs> me with everything. Um, so yeah. for everybody who's watching, um, we're John and Stephanie from Plantspiration. And this was me before. This was a hundred pounds ago, actually. And it, it, it really limited my life. Not only was I suffering from acid reflux and advanced, advanced osteoarthritis, um, we were actually talking about a walker in the house. Yeah. I had like the railings in the bathroom. Of course, chronic fatigue came with that. I was constantly sick. Wasn't feeling too happy about my situation. Depression, you know, kicks in. Re really bad diverticulitis, gastrointestinal disorders. I was on high blood pressure pills since the age of 21, IBS, migraines, as long as I can remember. And it was the pancreatitis that really started freaking me out. I was like, yeah. whoa. So, and then one day my daughter came home and she said, mom, I want to go vegan. She was 15 at the time. And I thought, no way. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You're going to die of protein deficiency. Yeah. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, you're not, we're not buying all that food, all this special. Food. Oh yeah. We were kind of like, you know, and I said, let's just buy her, her plant milk. She'll get her, over this fad. Yeah. She'll get over this fad, you know, and she was reading this story that said, uh, in this book I'm reading, they're not using animals for their own benefit. And I thought, okay, I cannot argue with her logic, but I really was afraid she was going to die. So I went to the internet, you know, what's a mom to do? Yeah. And I started searching, like, how long could we live without meat? I was determined <laughs> to be like, you're going to die. Um, and what I realized is not only could we live without it, we could thrive without it. So here we are in this picture, Chef AJ. This was actually after a 30 day Weight Watcher challenge. And we were, you know, kind of like, hey, look at us. We did a 30 day Weight Watcher challenge. This was probably the smallest um, that I had been in maybe, geez, I, don't even... I think this was just <laughs> one of the times I was the smallest for me. And, um, 
John was ready to go into his ninth surgery. We had nine surgeries between us in 11 months. And I just thought, this really isn't a proud moment after all. I mean, he, he, he's laid up. I just failed my last stress test. My son right here is battling obesity, you know, and my daughters were right behind because, you know, genetics, Yeah, I thought, <laughs> you know, so what were we to do? After his surgery, the doctor came out and basically said, this is not as uh, quick a recovery as we thought. It's going to be six months instead of three. three. <laughs> um, my life flashed before my eyes. I thought, I'm going to lose, we're going to lose everything. I couldn't work. I'm about to file for disability. But I remembered when I searched for um, my daughter, I came across this movie and it said, this movie could save your life. Well, on the way home from that surgery that day, I thought, we should maybe watch this movie. So we actually picked up the rare treat of McDonald's on that way home. That was the last time we got McDonald's, laid him up with his ice packs on the couch, sat my family around and I realized this movie wasn't just about losing weight. Yeah. This was about actually reversing disease. And that was the first time I'd ever heard anything like this. So I looked around and I thought, wow, I'm doing this to my family. I'm the one doing the grocery shopping. I'm bringing this food home. So after that movie, we went vegan. I went to the grocery store and I stopped bringing home animal just like that. That part is true. It really is. We stopped immediately yep, bringing animal home. Cold tofurkey, like they say. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was bringing home pretty much stuff just like this. And it really wasn't easy at first. Uh, the only way I knew how to cook vegetables was with butter you know, mm -hmm. loaded with stuff. I cooked every day, but we didn't know how to cook these types of foods. So we struggled a little bit. We went back to the internet a little bit. And then we came up with a bunch of our own recipes from searching right here. Um, this got us through it. And we did a lot of talking and realized, you know, people weren't supportive at work. My pediatrician right. was giving me a hard time. You know, it wasn't as easy as people thought, but I stuck to it and I showed my kids we could do it. And we lost 250 pounds together and a slew of diseases that right. went with it. We feel amazing. My God, that's the whole family. I didn't realize the whole family, like they, all, you guys look amazing. All of you. Well, I was in charge of grocery shopping. So I, I, I just said, this is what we're going to do. And I couldn't control everything. Of course, you know, but I could control what I brought home. I, I like to tell people we were living the standard American life. We were eating a standard American diet and we were suffering from the standard American diseases. And everyone around us was doing the same thing. My neighbors, my, you know, everybody, family, everybody was sick. I couldn't control everything, but I could control what I bring home. And I really like to, you know, talk about that with people. This was Zachary and I before and after, uh, this saved his life. I didn't want to see him, you know, grow up and go through what, what, what I went through. Uh, this was another before and after. And one day I, I took my clothes uh, off of the drying rack of a recumbent bike. I'd started <laughs> getting on the plants and as I'm working out, you know, one day John goes, Hey, why don't you grab these weights? So yeah, here's a couple dumbbells here. Just do this, do that, do some curls, flies, try, just go crazy. Now I was feeling good, you know, yeah. and I'm on this bike and I'm, and I'm rowing with these weights. I didn't even leave the house. I'd never been to a gym. And one day he walks by, he goes, Holy cow. <laughs> like, like, did you see your back? Have you seen yourself back here? <laughs> I didn't see myself. I wasn't looking. I was just feeling good. He took this picture and I thought, Whoa. Wow, look what plants can do. Not only did I build up my arms, Chef AJ, <laughs> I went and built up my confidence. I was like, if this could happen to me, I've got to get a better understanding of how I can teach everybody to do this. Mm -hmm. um, so I took the T. Colin Campbell courses in 2017, and then I couldn't shut my pie hole. I was <laughs> like, I have to tell everybody. I was feeding the neighbors. I was feeding the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And in January, 2019, I just kind of got over my fear. And I said, I'm opening the house up. Sorry. Um, <laughs> inviting everybody over. And I started teaching classes weekly, like everybody. Like, this is just what we were doing. This, this is, is what we're recipes doing. Recipes we were using and it just happens. And, and then amazing. I found more of 
what I call my people. You know, I went to physicians committee. This was me graduating the food for life program. And thank goodness I found them. They gave me all the tools and even more recipes so that oh, I yeah. could come back. And I wasted no time as a food for life instructor that weekend. Um, I had my first food for life class right here in my yeah, home. Yeah. I didn't have it all down, but I didn't care. I just wanted to show people how to prevent and reverse disease. Um, then I started holding classes in venues because the house wasn't working anymore. Yeah, I'm like, there's a lot of people I've never seen before. I don't want them all coming in the house. Yeah, I was like, so we found uh, some couple of different venues. It was really, really fun. This just hyped me up because as this started going, so did the messages from people saying, you're changing my life yeah, or, yeah. you know, look what you taught me. And I thought, oh, I can't s stop now. <laughs> I've got to get to bigger places. So, of course, you know, the the um, protests and more libraries and more events I did. And then COVID hit Chef AJ and I was like, oh no, <laughs> now I can't go out anywhere. What am I gonna do? Well, I went virtual with my classes and it just hasn't stopped. I think I'm on my 95th class right now um, from Food for Life since I graduated in May of 2019. I love my social media because it, we have fun with it together and this is how I'm getting to everybody. They're watching me. And I just want to remind people it's, it's, it was that easy. It really was. And that if we can do it, you know, whether it's for your health, the animals or the planet, I, I really think everybody should eat to live. That's right. And that's, that's right. And that's our story. And that's how we got to you. Well, that's the whole, whole thing. I just really try to make it. We're just a normal family a normal american family yeah. but we just changed what how we ate and wow the energy is amazing it changed our life it saved our life yeah but look how good you look you guys it's not that it's just that you're thinner you guys look like 10 or 20 years younger we feel it we yeah definitely, really feel definitely. it we were laid up constantly my life was you know a lot of drinking a lot of soothing my misery with food and mm -hmm. um none of that matters anymore i was like just Give me more plans. I mean, it's incredible that you've got your whole family on board because people are saying, I can't convince my son or my spouse or my, you know, that it's amazing that the whole family just was so reasonable. And yeah, well, we talked about it. It was, she wasn't going to bring animal in the house. And I was like, well, and I'm not, we're not going to be cooking two different things. It's yeah, just no not way. right. If we're doing it, we're getting healthy. Everybody's, Everybody's going to get it. healthy because they need to learn how to do this for the rest we, of their life. Yeah, we for wanna... their children. We want to change their future. Yeah. Um, they did tell them, they would say, oh, I was at a friend's house and I had a pizza and man, I feel pretty bad. And I <laughs> thought, well, watch this video here, how they get cheese, you know, yeah. <laughs> watch how this happens. And the more that I brought awareness to the topics and of course, apologized profusely to my daughter uh, yeah. for giving her a hard time. It helped us understand more, I think, of where people are coming from. You know, we thought that this was ridiculous and so does everybody else at first. But then once they realize it's sustainable, it's cheap, it's healthy, it's right. the only way to, it's the only evidence-based way to prevent and reverse disease. And, you know, plants may not be for everyone, but they work for everyone. And I feel everyone has a right to know. How old was your daughter when she proposed or when she said she wanted to go vegan? And what was her what was her reason for that at the time? She was 15 at the time and she was reading a book called Elder or Eldest off the Aragon series. And some of the characters were openly vegan and talking about not using other animals as a, you know, for themselves. Yeah. And I could, I really couldn't argue that it, it clicked right there. I was like, Ugh, I'm not going to say you have to eat it. No, that is so cool. Well, well God bless her. What, what's she up to now? She is into aquaponics, hydroponics. She has her degree in urban agriculture, agriculture yeah. and working with plants. So hopefully one day she can help us grow our own plant inspiration line of plants when we get there. So Heck she's yeah. doing that. Well, let's have her on the show. I've never done hydroponics on the show. Oh, she knows her stuff. Let me tell you what she's out. She ran a whole hydroponic system and grew all the food for the local community college out here for years. Well, she so. sounds amazing. And look, look at, look what, I mean, that's, and, and then how were the two boys? Were they, were they more resistant because they're boys and you know how boys are? 
so Zachary is the, uh, our boy and Isabel is a girl. So it was, oh, sorry. Very, no, don't worry <laughs> about it. No, no she, she's fine. Um, she was very into like physical fitness. So she mm-hmm. went on to get her NASM certification for personal training, mm-hmm. but she, she, she didn't really like it. So she's running a salon right now, telling everybody how to get on plants and yeah. stay healthy. <laughs> and, um, and Zachary, he is working with somebody who does inspiring talks as well. So he actually met with a doctor today for himself. And he's like, give me all the plant inspiration stuff to bring into this doctor. So I think it's so cool that the whole family is doing this. It makes it so much easier at holidays and birthdays, doesn't it? Yeah. It makes it really easy because there's no question about it. And, you, you know, we lost a lot of family and friends yeah, along honestly, the way. it's about the only family we have left, yeah. right, too. <laughs> You mean left because they won't talk to you because they passed yeah. away from lifestyle mm-hmm. illnesses? It's some of each, really. But. Some of each. Yeah, I think it was hard for some people to face the fact that I, we changed the way that we do our dance in the family. You know, yeah. everybody has their own thing. And we kind of said, we're going to do this. And I didn't want to enable any more of this chronic disease and destruction. And quite frankly, I'll just say veganism to us was like a filter, not just for toxic foods, but for toxic relationships. We started surrounding ourselves with the people that wanted to be healthy and wanted to go for bike rides. And, and it's just grown and grown and honest plantspiration is really our new family, Chef AJ. We- well, you've got some family members watching because people are saying that you guys are adorable, that you're uh, uh, that uh, I'm a member of Planspiration. Stephanie does not give up on people. She and John, John have helped change my life. People like your mug. They like your shirt. So uh, how do you like that? That's fantastic. Why did you need so many operations? What was wrong with you? I slipped and fell. <laughs> messed up my knee my shoulder my wrists and i you know a couple of surgeries on that knee and the other knee and two on my wrists and my shoulder oh my god i had just finished um a double meniscus repair i was facing double knee replacements at 40 years old um i had severe esophagus problems a cyst on my pancreas um diverticulitis the irritable bowel syndrome problems uh, it was surgery procedure after an X. My entire calendar was in my life revolved around my only time going out of the house was doctor's appointments, yeah. doctor's appointments. Why am I so sick? Why am I hurting so bad? Why do I feel so miserable? Why am I not able to go to the bathroom? Like, a, like we should be going, you know, everything was just a mess. I mean, at 40, you know, they were like, you know, you need knee replacements, but you're so young that if we do it now, they'll be burnt out by the time you'll need to do them again. You know, yeah. and the five pounds of pressure per pound and all that, I'd heard it a million times. And if I would have known how to lose weight, I mean, every, every diet, <laughs> every diet you can imagine, you know, down to the shredded wheat, the cabbage soup, <sighs> he sat through every weight. Oh, I was there with you. I had pounds to lose. Yeah. I brought Did both of you struggle with weight from a long time in your past, like eat, growing up even? Yep, yeah. Yeah. He talks about wearing the husky pants. Oh, yeah. And School's pretty rough when you're chubby. <laughs> every year, you know, dreading it because you're getting bigger and bigger. It's- but you guys are like hot now. Seriously. Like both of you. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> you deserve each other. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? Like you got two hotties together because sometimes one of them, one of one of the two couples, you know, they get healthy and gorgeous and the other one kind of stays and it makes it hard. But you guys have uh you know, see, and, and we still see that with couples. It's like, come on, guy, you got to get with the program. Yeah. Your wife is getting healthy. And we've got you're... a couple couples. We've got quite well, a yeah, few couples right, right. that are in the group, Chef AJ, that have changed their lives too. And we bought bikes after this. So not only could I, uh, what did I go from like a walker? I went from crippled to cranking. Um, <laughs> I got off that recumbent bike and we bought five bikes. I was like, everybody's getting yeah. on the bikes. We, of course, started blowing the doors off the kids. Um, I, we do about 100 to 120 miles a week, and that's not too shabby for a couple of um, old couch potatoes. Yeah. It gave us our life back, and we didn't think we could do stuff like this, honestly. Right, right. I, I didn't think it was possible. Did any doctor ever tell you, you know, you should change your lifestyle or lose weight? Did any of them mention it? That's a, every time... We would be at the doctor appointments like, you know, if you lost weight, your knees wouldn't hurt as bad or this or really? that, or your blood pressure like every oh, time. And, but they don't shocking. tell you how. 
you know, you should lose take the weight. medicine, take the medicine. I have a stack. I would, I was always nervous to take stuff. So I yeah. would keep, I have a stack somewhere of where I would come home, tell him, look this up. Look at the side effects. Tell me what they, if they're going to kill me. Yeah. And every time he'd be like, I don't, I wouldn't take this. So yeah. I'm like, well, I better figure out what to do next. Next doctor appointment. Now what, now what? And then that surgery, I just thought, if nothing changes, nothing changes. And it yeah. was maybe drastic for some, but so was the life we were living and the money we were spending on medical was insane, insane. I wonder what would have happened if your daughter hadn't suggested this when she was 15, if you would have found it. I would, have, I would not be here. I wow. failed my stress test. I could not walk around. And I was, um, vodka was becoming my best friend. Yeah. And I never thought I could stop, but this made me have hope. It changed so rapidly. It gave us hope. And, and we weren't all into the vegan foods, you know, 2013, there was not fake meat. There wasn't a ton of stuff. Right? Not fake Maybe cheeses. Maybe one burger or something, but. <laughs> so we just, we really ate a lot of raw and a lot, people call it plain, but we're still kind of eating plain. Food for life, as I taught these classes, we really started to getting more into recipes and different cuisines. Um, and that's probably the highlight of our week is when I do my cooking class, we're trying all these new recipes, but in general, we still eat pretty plain and now the kids have moved out. So it's like, do you want a potato? Cause yeah, I'll cook up a potato. Of course, I, I, hate, <laughs> I hate cooking all Sweet day potato, long. Sweet potato, some black beans on it, maybe some oil-free hummus. We're good to oh, go. Oh yeah, we, we're on the no oil. We, we stuck with it oh, yeah. and it's inspiring. It's to other the people. energy. It's like, that's the energy. Yes. Yeah, we, we noticed that right away. Half my age now. Vegan foods came in. And of course I was like, Ooh, let me try some vegan chips. Ooh, let me try this vegan cheese. And I oh. said, man, I feel terrible. I feel terrible all over again. Even yeah. though I didn't gain the weight back, I the started, energy just... yeah, it plummeted. So I'm pretty loud in my membership group with you guys, nobody needs oil, you know, no. or sugars, or the salts, we can do it without it. But sometimes it's a little like this, you know, Chef AJ, like, come on in, let me show you what we can do. And then boom, now let's turn it up. That's right. That amazing. How long uh, uh, did it take for both of you to lose the weight? I'd say like 10 months. Yeah, about. We were pretty raw. We were figuring it out. So we did a lot of juice fasting. Yeah, we did a lot of juicing in the beginning. A lot of eating raw. And then we just started learning that the food, even that we could chew it and get the same results eating it, actually. Yeah. We, you know, juicing, I lost a lot of hair. It freaked me out. Yeah. Um, not that I'm against it. I just, I just want to teach people we can eat the foods and get the same results. That's right. That's right. But yeah. Thank you, everybody. What, was it hard at first to give up the tastes that you were used to? Um, well, at first, yeah, I didn't know how to replace them. So, you know, it was, it was a little tough, you know, until I realized, wow, we have a whole cabinet of spices here. And we would just spice up the animal products with the same spices. spices so yeah. I'm just making and tofu and stuff taste how I used to. How my taste buds are used to, really, you know. And Chef AJ, we would, the kids would start coming out of their rooms oh, and man. be like, I lost another pound and I lost two pounds. I, I'm sleeping my skin's better. Clearing Look up. at mom, I have no more pimples anymore, no more back knee. Yeah. Um, they're, they were doing phenomenal. And I was hyping it up, you know, kids are watching what we're doing. Oh, yeah. So I was like, yes, go, 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 you know. Um, and being in their teens, they were getting in the kitchen, like ooh, whipping yeah. up some stuff. Well, Isabel just watched cooking shows constantly. And I was yeah. like, how could you watch all these animal cooking shows? And that's when she's she like, like, I'm just getting ideas of flavors and stuff. And then she would come out here with tofu and veggies. And wow, she would whip up some good stir. It's how she <laughs> made these burgers. These yeah. burgers were because this, these burgers were from 2013. We didn't know Jack about PCRM or, you know, any of these things, we were just kind of winging it. And, yeah. and she's like, all right, I saw something and I'm going to make these burgers because we were having a graduation party. And I, I hired, a, I hired a, somebody to come in and grill burgers because we had a lot of people and I didn't know how to make the whole thing vegan. Well, I wasn't cooking any meats yeah. anymore. So. so we hired somebody to actually cook the meats for our guests. And then here comes Isabel with our 
bean, bean burgers. I was like, yes. <laughs> um, we didn't skip a beat and we've been inspiring people for almost nine years now that they can do it too. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, so you, you mentioned vodka and was that hard to, to give up? Because I find a lot of the people that I work with, they don't want to give up alcohol and it's not a judgment, but I don't know how to make a female slender when they continue to drink alcohol. It's just too calorically dense. It yeah. is something that will hold people back when I'm working with them. I really did some mindfulness in this moment. It was a lot of soul searching of what do I want? Do I want to feel good now or do I want to feel good tomorrow? Um, it yeah. was breaking habits. It was breaking addictions. And every day that I would see the difference that this lifestyle was making to me, I, I kept the vodka here, you know, like I'm not going to get rid of everything. And, and we did the same with quitting smoking. We were pretty right, big right. smokers 10 years ago too. Mm -hmm. um, wow. You guys had a lot of bad habits back in the day, huh? <laughs> we, we did. We did. Typical American. Yeah. And I, I used the same kind of philosophy. Like it's there if I feel that I need it, but yeah. let me see if I can get through today. And I probably fought a couple days, you know, people say, Oh, my day was stressful or, Oh, this, Hey, you're always going to have stress going mm -hmm. on in your life. There's always going to be tragedy and things that we don't like to happen. But I kept telling myself, we can get through this, you know, let's eat some apples and dates. And yeah, right. maybe I would get a little bit more decadent and we would be breaking out peanut butter and more rich things. But in time, we learned how to heal ourselves and get through these things with meditation, things I thought were nuts, you know, mindfulness, things I told my therapist for years. Could you stop with all this jibber jabber? Little did I know that she had been filling my pockets with tools that I just, they started, everything started making sense. I think my brain was thinking clearer. My, mm -hmm. you know, everything was working better. I don't think I'd even be doing any of this. This wasn't me before. I, I just, we ended up going back to college. Yeah. I learned how to do Google Doc. I bought this <laughs> laptop a year ago. Like I'm doing things that. Well, you started a business, you know. What the heck was that? He's like, yeah, go for it. Go ahead. And I'm like, John, it's actually, John, it's actually working. People want to buy a t-shirt. People want to sign up. It, it's just. Oh, it just feels good. You have to believe in yourself and you have to love yourself and, and, and tell yourself you can do it. And you don't need those things to be happy. No, I mean, we just, for me, it was just going along eating, getting healthier, feeling better and knowing, you know, having drinks or whatever, I'm how I'm going to feel tomorrow. And that just doesn't, we did that just doesn't work for me anymore. I feel fantastic. We did have a drink nothing. eight months in. We had a drink at Zachary's graduation partner. Yeah, party. one. I remember I was like, I'll wait eight months to, to have a drink or, or, you know, first mm -hmm. it was one day, then it was one week. Then I was like, let me go another month. And I would say, oh, I'll do it at, uh, I'll have that at Zachary's graduation party. Mm -hmm. And I remember he came up to me and he goes, is that a, is that a, is that an alcohol? I go, it is. He goes, how do you feel? I go, it's not doing anything for me. Yeah, it just wasn't yeah, doing anything wasn't. for me. And the next day we went out on our bike ride and people were like, man, I'm hung over. And I was like, we're not. Mm -hmm. And we feel great. And it could be done. It could be done. Yep. Well, Lavanda says you rock. And Joanne says the Ignafos and Plantspiration family rock. I know they all have my back. And Stephanie got me back on track. She's a caring person and wants everyone to be the best they can be. What, what is it you do through? And that's a great name, by the way, Plantspiration. I love it. Thank you. I thought it was pretty clever. I even drew my own logo here and thought, John, I envision Plantspiration around the world. You know, you've got these Weight Watchers everywhere. Why don't we have these places where people can just come in and learn how to cook, learn how to be mindful, learn how to do yoga, learn how, you know, kids classes. So the biggest thing we noticed was People needed support. I believe yeah. we were so successful because we did it together as a family. You know, we mm. were talking about it all the time. We could kind of complain to each other about the society not really digging it. And mm. um, I said, let's start doing, well, when, when I went virtual with the classes, this was one thing when people were meeting together, you know, in the classes in public or in venues. But once we went virtual, I realized 
these same people couldn't wait to get on the class, you know, and talk about their experience every week and how they were doing and what they were losing or maybe the obstacles. So we said, let's just start a private Facebook group where we can, I can lifestyle medicine coach the, I completed the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. So I was, you know, already bringing these tools. I started coaching everybody in there. Then we have um, live every Saturday. We've been doing this for over a year now. Every Saturday, uh, everybody gets a link to just join in and then they can hear other families, what they're doing and other people struggling and other wins. And we all just kind of talk together about it. It's great that I talk so much. It's an opportunity for John to, you know, take over a little bit, Mm -hmm. talk to other guys about where they're at and, And then I started bringing in yoga. I was like, hey, let's do virtual yoga every Sunday. And now I started kids cooking classes, just or or a session, I would say. Like moms were saying, can you do some kids classes so that we can get more people and more kids involved? Mm -hmm. So uh, the only thing holding me back was me. So I said, okay, let's do it. And I do some guest speakers every month. You know, I had, actually we're here uh, a, a lot of people wrote, but Dan and Sean Muskalkic from the Indian Rock Vegans, he's the one that attached me in the letter to you. And I was like, what? <laughs> he wrote Chef AJ and said she should be on the show. So people like him, I have talking, you know, people need to know fourth stage kidney disease. And this guy's over here eating plants and, and reversing this loud and proud with this. And really? I can't tell enough people, not just about us, but like you are doing, we need more people to hear this. We're inundated with commercials and media and Popeyes and this, when I want people to be hearing about Plantspiration and Chef AJ and- Yeah, all the good in the world. Yeah, the good. Wow, there's uh, some other wonderful comments. Sarah says, Stephanie and John are incredible. You've completely changed our lives for the better and continue to inspire us every day. And there's a question about erectile dysfunction. Does that ever come up in the classes with the men? That will come up. I teach a class on erectile dysfunction and it does come up and it's a great topic. As people know, it's a first sign of heart disease. So it's important we talk about that. In my classes, I cover erectile dysfunction. Tonight's uh, foods for fertility. Mm -hmm. Next week is menopause. So it's all the topics, diabetes to erectile dysfunction, to infertility. Cancer classes, uh, just Great question. A lot of classes, a lot of information. And no matter what the topic of the class is, all the meals are whole food plant-based no and oil. are great for you. And guys come back and do say, wow, <laughs> wow, that worked. And I say, all right, all right. Come and tell the yeah. group how great you feel. Do any of the doctors that you saw when you guys had all the excess weight, do you see them now? And what do they think of your transformation? We haven't seen them since. We haven't seen doctors. In- <laughs> yeah, that was it. Well, what about regular people, like maybe neighbors or family members or friends? Somebody must have noticed. Oh, did if notice what we did? Yeah. Oh, everybody noticed. Oh, yeah. They were like, wow, you guys look great. And I was like, yeah, this is what you could do. And I was at the bank one time and the ladies asked me, is your wife OK? Yeah. I'm like, well, yeah, she's fantastic. Why? Well, we thought she had cancer. She lost so much weight. I'm like, yeah, we're eating just plants. She lost a hundred pounds. We feel fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, I, and really it was like mind boggling. It was like, wow, you get healthy in the world. And yeah, I said, nobody cared people, when I was yeah. eating myself to death. Nobody yeah. cared when I was, uh, you know, 278 pounds was my biggest chef, AJ. Um, and I'm, I'm not very tall. <laughs> so nobody said anything to me about the food I was eating, the drinking that I was doing, the the medicines I was taking, but the minute we did this, everybody freaked out. That's really the biggest concern we got in the beginning was, wow, you, you guys are, are you sure that you don't want to get too thin? You know, yeah. that BMI chart, talk about flashback Fridays. I break that out. I'm like, remember this? It actually meant something. So that's doc, Dr. Goldhammer talks about that all the time because it's so hard for most people to lose weight and keep it off that when somebody does, that's exactly what they think. They must have a disease, the anorexia, cancer, because nobody can really do it. But plants are the answer. It's been effortless. It's been effortless that's with lovely. it all. So we're grateful. It. We're we're grateful and we hope to inspire more people. Do you think that the men in the class or even the women realize that the erectile dysfunction is a symptom of heart disease, basically? 
They're in my classes, they do, because I don't stop talking about it. It's important. And as much as we see pharmaceutical commercials, I want to see my mouth going on about that we don't need to die of, of these chronic diseases. Um, we should be dying of old age, not these chronic diseases. So I talk, to, I talk about this often. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Let's see. Uh, great. Uh, Groundhog says, amazing. Well done. Grateful for them being on today. What an inspiration. Well, that's why you're Plantspiration, because you guys are an inspiration and it came from plants. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I actually thought of this in the middle of my T. Colin Campbell classes, just doodling through the courses. I it's, And I trademarked it. I was yeah. like, you know what? I see something big here and, and we're going to, we're going to take over and teach everybody how to eat to live as well. Well, that's just it. I mean, you have these diet places and you know, you're counting points and you're doing oh. this and nobody's really, they're just still focused on the weight, but we just were focused on let's, we're getting healthy and the weight just kind of happened. It did. That it was just, a side effect. Yeah. Counting points. I can count 21 points in Oreos. Yeah. I can count 21 points in Twinkies. Like that's I knew right. how to really you know, we were eating Work lean, lean chip. We eat red meat maybe twice a year on holidays. Mm -hmm. We were not eating a junk food diet. No, I mean, she cooked dinner every, every day. day. It was, you know, lean chicken breast, chicken. ground turkey, chicken. you know, really Bird. thin, light with vegetables and a potato. But it's just, if you don't get that animal out, it just doesn't. And the butter. Doesn't change. And oh, the gosh, dairy. The, the low fat dairy, the low fat cottage cheese. The oh, yeah. I've been through it all. But this is eight, now almost nine years later and it's still working. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like we're getting healthier and stronger we were just talking. i don't feel like i'm getting older no we don't <laughs> i was pumped about turning 50 and i said <laughs> let's do a, a challenge this winter for the group let's get people shredded and pumped up so that we don't spend another you know midwest mm -hmm. winter you know mm -hmm. laying around I'm, I'm about to ramp people up to show them i have i have people in their 70s in my group that are now going to the gym for the first time chef aj you, you know this, this is, <laughs> this is common out here, but it's awesome to see. And when these folks come in my class and share their stories, oh, yeah. two more people come back next week. You know? That's right. I mean, people, just so many people getting off their medicines and insulin yeah. they've been on for 25 it's years and, and just, they don't need it anymore. They're getting healthy. It's yeah. fantastic. It just feels good when you feel good. There's a question from Kathy. If you were a good cook before and are you a good cook now i'll ask i was a pretty good cook before oh, yeah. um you know i loved making roasts and stuff like that uh, lots of family traditions you know the hay shade natal or rollout and things like that mm -hmm. today i think i'm an even better cook i'm cooking more cuisines i'm cooking more flavors i'm oh, yeah. using more spices uh, way better and way simpler and less mess and less time and less expense. <laughs> yeah. Well, except for making you get me a new kitchen sink. I was like, I don't want any more. I don't want a sink with any more animal juice in it or anything <laughs> like get this stuff out of here. So that was about the most expensive thing we did. <laughs> so people are asking, did you guys have a lot of excess skin? And if so, what did you do with it? Um, I actually recovered pretty well. Um, I started lifting weights. That's what I did with it. I filled it in with muscle. Yeah. Um, and my, my, I used a lot of coconut oil. I had stretch marks. Yeah, I, I used it on the outside. Yeah, we use the coconut oil on the outside. Um, I think I do look pretty good considering losing 100 pounds. And I attribute it to lots of water, hot, super hyper nourishing, mm -hmm. um, no exercise. Yeah, no surgery. Mm -hmm. I've got some loose skin, of course. I'm, I'm 50 years old. Um, and I weighed 100 and 278 pounds at the time. That was well, how tall are you? That's that's a lot, right? I'm about five, two and a half. Yeah. Whoa. OK. Yeah. 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 I am not the tallest. So people are always like, John is so tall. I'm like, he's 5'10", you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Next, well, oh, that's amazing. That is so, so um, It's there, but the more I work out, the better it looks. And, and for the stretch marks, it's shocking. I had the like, purple yeah. ones. They were really a mess. Um, and I didn't care about it. I thought whatever happens, happens. I was just glad that I was healthier. But as the years have gone by, they're almost non-existent and that's surprising yep. for yep. me yeah they're fading away 
Yeah. Well, we have questions. Do you have any recipes you recreated from your old dinners and what is in the future for Plantspiration? I do recreate a lot of recipes that we made before. And one of our favorite is the cold pizza. So there is a cold yeah. pizza recipe with the crescent rolls and, you know, the cream cheese and the mayonnaise. And we just modified it. And it's incredible. Um, pizzas. Your meat, your, he makes the best quinoa balls. Yeah. Tell I call them bean raw balls. I make them out of quinoa and beans. And I can make them into meatballs or... Even I've been working lately on a breakfast sausage flavored uh, meatball or bean wild ball, I call them. So what's in the They're future? Fun. We've hooked up with um, planty meals and we're talking about our own food line so mm -hmm. that we can just ship out, you know, your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, low fat, high fiber, no oil food, no Chef oil. AJ. Um, and we just want to grow more Plantspiration people to keep sharing and inspiring more people to do the same. More, more in our support group, more people yes. come into classes. We just tell people when you do it, not just for you, you're you're showing other people, you're inspiring. People are watching. Yeah, people are watching what you're doing. So we just want to inspire people to to do it. The biggest thing is the community, um, because you know, out there it's just the support really isn't there. You yeah. know, still to this day, it, it isn't there. You know it. <laughs> You've gone. Uh, it hey, too. I'm in the desert, literally, <laughs> with that. I, absolutely. So that's why it's, you're so blessed to have your family do it. You know, I'm just so excited talking to you. I forgot you actually are going to make a recipe. Yeah. The good thing is, is it's it's so easy. Maybe we should take you into the kitchen. It's a few ingredients. Yeah. Can, can we start yeah. that now? You yeah. sure can. And you know what? One yeah. question that almost every guest that's been on this show gets asked is what do y'all eat for a day? Mm -hmm. I eat, we eat really plain. As you, whoa, whoa, whoa. And do, you, do you know, Stephanie, that like I have done, like you're almost show number 700. And that is what like almost every single guest says, even the most fantastic chefs that I have had on. That's how people eat. We eat really plain. I love my smoothies from Dr. Brooke Goldner. I got hooked on that smoothie shred and I just, I love the flavor of them. They're easy, they're quick. Um, I'm not saying smoothies are for everybody, but that's what works for me. And, you know, the last couple of days we've been just pounding down cabbage and a very watered down peanut dressing and we could eat this day after day. Oh, yeah. And then it'll be potatoes and then it'll be beans and potatoes. And my and little tofu cubes that I make with it. Oh, so good. Well, Chef AJ, you got me hooked on that everything bagel that you did with your potatoes. And then now that's just an entire meal. So this recipe is actually from our daughter, Isabel. Uh, she had come up with very simple. We have we microwave the potatoes because there's a lot of busy stuff going on. Who has time for this? So you just take these sweet potatoes and when you put them in the microwave for a couple minutes, they get really mushy and wet and we really like them like this. And sweet potatoes, as everybody knows, is naturally low fat, loaded with fiber. Um, it slows down the, you know, cancer cells. Wow, I, I made a total mess over here, Dan. That's all right. Let me have you take over for a minute. These sweet potatoes, people forget, I didn't, I didn't even know what a sweet potato was until nine years ago. I only <laughs> thought we could have it with candy, candied sweet potatoes. Yeah, right, loaded right. with marshmallows and stuff. Yeah, so I love out. these little silicone mats I use for everything. One can of rinsed and drained black beans. Sure, we can get into doing beans and, uh, cooking your own dry beans, but I like to show people that we can start off by doing things really easy. Again, yep. here we go. Tons of fiber, tons of fiber in this. Sweet so potatoes. simple. Easy. We're just going to use then one cup, one cup of regular dried oats. I don't think that I've cooked oats in eight years. We eat them for breakfast, just like this with soy milk. Um, we keep it really easy. Isabel, thank you if you're watching for this recipe. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of people on this because it's easy. Simple. Four, a half a teaspoon of onion powder goes in here and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Uh, I would say that these are the two most popular seasonings in every food in the world. This mm -hmm. is in every potato chip. This is in everything that everybody says, oh, I can't give it up. 
you're just eating this on that's another right. product. So, well, that's the thing people don't understand that eat meat. No, very few people eat raw meat without flavorings. It's the plants that make animal products edible. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, mm -hmm. Nobody's eating chicken plain. Nobody's everybody's seasoning everything. And, and I'm trying to show them it's, it's really no different. Yep. Um, it seems like it would be more difficult than this to make a burger, but this is it. This is it. So we That's take, it. Th this is it. And they're amazing. And you can make them into little squares. I say for sliders, they taste almost like sliders to us. Um, and then we put them on parchment paper, really nice and easy. No oil needed. I'll show you how we, oh, these are also great for meatballs. They make great oh, yeah. meatless meatballs. And I mean, they feel and shape just like a burger. If people could see, if you think they're too wet, then put more oats in them. And then mm -hmm. John is, go and by the way, I always give out great tips that I've learned from all my training. Things like a quarter teaspoon of garlic and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder have been shown to improve weight loss over like a four month period. That's Dr. Greger. He, he teach, he has taught me so much stuff. And then I'm gonna show people how I really make my burgers. So look at these, hot out of the oven, fast forward chef AJ, look at these patties. Do they not look perfect? Mm -hmm. No animal needed to suffer in order for me to eat delicious foods, to lose weight, um, no more counting calories, no more counting points, no more measuring weighing containers. My goodness, my life is awesome. So that's, oh. that's actually her bun. Yeah, I use these as my bun and I'm gonna show you how I love to make these burgers. Um, I just use the Wait, that's close. So your burger is the bun. I love them this way. And if we're gonna talk nutrient dense, I'm not against the bun. I'm not against the, that kind I'll of stuff, the carbs, you know. I just really want to get as much as I can in. And I like to make the insides the pile. So yeah. I put a lot of vegetable on there. That is very clever. You know what I've done? Have you ever seen me do the potato waffle? It's uh, Sandy Pluis has been on the show. She's a, a vegan blogger in Australia, came up with this recipe where you make a waffle out of Yukon Gold potatoes. I use those as the bun. This wow, is how nice. we do it. I don't want to lose it while I show you guys. Usually I have an overhead for class, but this is how I make a burger. I'm going to try that. That's amazing. It's like an inside out burger. Literally the longest it takes is 20 minutes to cook these. Pretty much. 20 minutes. Do you flip them? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You flip them and then do another 10, 15 ish. But... Notice who does the cooking around here. I've been cooking for 20 years. You know, now I'm running a business and running well, a nonprofit. it's exciting to make new flavors. I'm like, I'll go make something. Don't worry. He got into <laughs> it. He got into it. And you know why he likes it so much? Because it's easy. It's it easy to roast a potato and throw some beans and some everything bagel sauce on it. Yeah. Um, this is how we do it, Chef AJ. And I'll tell you again, if we can do it, anybody can. Yeah. And if they need help, we hold your hand through it. We've been there. That's we right. know what it feels like. So that's it's all about the support and really coming together and helping people because we're and I'm loud. really I'm we're not special. We're just helping others feel great. Yeah. So that's how we do our burgers. That's how we eat. This is this is pretty typical. And and once we get on the burger fence, yeah. we'll do these every day until we're sick of them, and then get back to the cabbage. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Jerry says you give new meaning to double double. Uh, yeah, right. That is it. So, back line, eat your plants off. I love that. That's I right. did because <laughs> I would tell. Well, here's why: people start uh, going whole food, plant based, and right away they think it's a diet. We've got to cut back. We've got to limit our food. And I would work with them, and I would say, "Listen to me, loud and clear. You need to eat a lot of these plants. They're low calorie. They're no fat." You literally need to eat your plants off. The more people would start eating this way, they would say, Stephanie, my pants are falling off. And I said, look, you're eating your plants off. That's how this started. And it, and it stuck and it works. You, yeah. You're not going to lose weight if you're eating, you know, 800 that's, that's the biggest mistake I, that I see people make when they're adopting this way of eating is they don't eat enough. So then they're not satisfied. And as particularly, they're so afraid of starch. 
number one problem. People are afraid of uh, eating and eating potatoes and starches, of yeah. course. And uh, so I can't eat carbs. That's what we run on. You That's all I eat. eat is carb. This is what I don't get. It's but they're not afraid to eat fat. Go figure. No. That I yeah, I'm 300 pounds. I can't have carbs. Well. Um, maybe we should rethink that because that's not what's doing that. And then I, I just try to show them, you know, this is more studies, you know, don't just take my word for it. It's out there, yeah. but let me show you how to keep it simple. Or they come in with, I've got all the recipe books and I've, I've done all the books and I've done all this. None of that's going to help you. It's actually keeping it simple yeah. and eating your plants off and you will see the results. Big time, big time. People are asking when your classes are. Every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Central. Um, I think tonight is my 95th class, I think. I think so. We have a great time. We do a lot of this. We do a lot of chest bumps. We want to show people that even though health can be very serious and a scary thing to talk about, we want to have a good time and, and be us. We've, yeah, been, we've yeah. been there. We've been where they're at on the fence, skeptical, unsure, can't That's do right. it. We're going to show you how. Right. Well, we put everything in the show notes. And by show notes, I mean the box that appears under the YouTube video, which you can't see if you're watching on Facebook, including the recipe, guys. So where do you like people to go? Your website, Instagram, Facebook, where do you hang out the most? Everywhere. I hang out on Instagram, Facebook. You can go to plantspiration.org to sign up for classes. Join the membership. Read our whole story there. Yeah, our whole story. And you can message me, email me, get text me at 84877-PLANTS, P-L-N-T-S. I'll show you how to do it. I'll take the time because I've been in a situation like that where I just felt hopeless. Yeah. And I can relate. And we want to tell you, come on in and we'll show you how to do it too. That's right. Well, you guys are terrific. I'm so happy to have met you. And you guys really are a plant inspiration. Chef AJ, oh, I'm you. humbled, Seriously. I'm honored, um, and so inspired. Like I said, thank you for paving the way, truly. Yeah, I'm the OG. I'm the OG. <laughs> you are. I know, 44 years vegan. Hey, no, I got to be honest. You know, as much as I, I'm vegan for ethical reasons, really, until Forks Over Knives came out, nobody listened to a darn thing I said. Well, we're grateful for the, for you never giving up and to continue pushing through all these things that happen in life and, and, and sharing your story with more people, which just inspired me even more. Well, thank you. Show. And still, there's so much love in the chat. I don't know if you can see it. Jeffrey says, Stephanie rocks. These two plant stars are extraordinary. They live the lifestyle 24 seven. Jerry says, I feel plant inspired now. Everything from now on, you've got to put the word plant in it. All right. You know yeah. it. That's yeah. wonderful. We're grateful for everything everybody that follows because then it's just more and more inspiration for people that's right that's right and if we don't do it for you you can pick up this book <laughs> <laughs> thank you and I'm gonna, you know i i keep sweet potato burgers in my freezer all the time and my recipe simple like yours i'm gonna try it the inside out next time i do that they're good we yeah. can't wait for you to try it Chef. that Thanks. sounds like that see i learned something new every day on the show guys thank you so much thank you hey thank don't you. forget eat your plants off and we love yeah. everyone thank you Oh, you're so welcome. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow when we have another inspiring story for Al Schmidt, who reversed his heart disease in his 80s. I think he's almost 90 now. And he's got a great story, too. Just like yours. We yeah. love stories. Thanks. Thanks so much, uh, Stephanie and John. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Chef AJ. Have a